The weather is getting worse. We rather head back home and wait for the next couple of weeks to fly back here if the weather is getting better. We are fine with waiting days, but we can't afford to stay almost a week without pace. Hold on, guys. The weather will be normal in three days. We just received the update reports this morning. But again, no pay for three days? It's not fair and it's not our fault. Calm down, guys. It's just three days. When the film finish, we might have a big one. And these are the important things to us. You know that. We can't delay for the next couple weeks. Okay, everyone. Let me contact Mrs. Mr. Zorto and ask him for the payments. Good morning, Mr. Zortos. Good morning. I received your report last night. It will be bad if the film is delayed. Yes, Mr. Zortos. The permits will be due in three weeks. We should be able to be able to start filming within the next week. I am okay with paying for the delayed days. It's only about five days. It will cost us more to reschedule all of those. And most important, the stockholders wouldn't be happy to see the film delayed. Okay, Mr. Zortos. I will respond to the crew. Group Midterm Project by The Misfits. Chronicle Films Live. Chronicle Films is a movie production that develops films based on sci-fi and action. Most of their films are a smaller portion of their series, Bionic Wars, which is set in a futuristic world full of robots. The company is run by Anthony Zortos, who is the owner of Chronicle Films, as well as being a director. He is looking for a new storyline to continue their sci-fi films. Once Zortos brings an idea to set director Christina Williams and director of cinematography Marcos Rivera, Gordon Smith, who is the main leader in Chronicle Films and the person that brings great sci-fi ideas, comes up with a better pitch idea than Zortos. Williams and Rivera like Smith's pitch, but Zortos does not. He is afraid that Smith will take over his company. Smith threatens to leave the company and go with others with his ideas. Each group member has their specific task and role in the TV show. Within the TV show, Zortos must find a way to deal with Smith using management techniques to find the best outcome for the company and show. With each member having their roles, we will portray the different management problems that will need to be used to help Mr. Zortos find a solution for the series. Anais is the team leader as well as the inventor of this TV show. She organizes, directs, manages, and finalizes everything the team does. Moneth is our technology guy. He uses our animation tool to create our episodes. Jacob is our researcher in the project. He looks up all of our research and helps in anything that needs to be done. He is the voice for Gordon Smith. Christian also works on research and provides feedback for the show. He is the voice for Marcos Rivera. Robert does script writing, proofreading, and the development of our characters and happens to be the voice for Mr. Anthony Zorto. Bianca helps with proofreading and anything else that might need to be done as well as being the voice for Christina Williams. Chronicle Films Live takes place in Hollywood, California and is about the work life at the studio. Tension is made when Anthony Zorkos, director and owner of Chronicle Films, is trying to come up with an idea for his next film at the studio and Christina and Marcos choose another idea over his. They decide that Gordon Smith's idea was better than Anthony's. This creates conflict because Mr. Zorkos prefers his ideas over Smith. But at the same time, Smith has helped his film gain success by winning Oscars. With animosity in the air, Smith threatens to leave Chronicle Films and brings his ideas elsewhere because he believes his ideas for the film deserve to be included. Chronicle Films Live shows examples of different kinds of managerial skills and terms. Instances of managers taking control of situations, stereotyping taking place, and managerial ethics are all themes that are placed within the show. The target audience or target market that we plan on attracting is everyone of all ages. This show can grasp the attention of anyone interested in a drama-filled live show. Reality TV is big in America, so creating a show like this will easily catch their attention among viewers. People interested in science fiction will most likely be the highest type of viewer due to Chronicle Films being known as their science fiction films. The format that will be used for this TV show will be a reality TV-based format. As stated earlier, reality TV is very popular in America and it lets viewers see what is going down in Chronicle Films. Having this format will allow the characters of the show to express their thoughts behind the scenes and give insight to the viewers at home. The characters.
Anthony Zortos. He is the protagonist. He is known for being an expert manager. While he enjoys the figurehead management role that he has in his job regularly, he prefers the leader management role. He is respected by his employees because they lead by example. Although, like any other human, he has his shortcomings. Being an older gentleman, he is set in his ways and has difficulty with entrepreneurship and change within his organization. Gordon Smith. Younger than Mr. Zorkos, Gordon is high energy and well connected. He often acts as a negotiator for the company as he is often one of the networking ones on behalf of Conical Films. Known for being cunning, he is frequently called on to handle disturbances. His interpersonal skills are sharp, however, he uses it to his advantage while not always being completely honest. His, morally, his moral intensity on the issue is frequently based on the probability of effect and the concentration of effect. Christina Williams is the director and producer of Chronicle Films. She tends to be super outgoing, but also since she is the management business, she is motivational and persuasive and extremely organized, as well as an amazing planner. Unless something does not go her way, she is all right. Christina will, do, Christina will do anything for her fellow co-workers on set. She always wants everyone to be the best possible version of themselves. Marcos is the director of cinematography and is the leading role of Chronicle Films. He is extremely controlling and demanding. Everything has to live up to his standards. If it does not go his way, he will not tolerate it. He wants to create his final masterpiece so the world can see it and enjoy it. While on set, his fellow co-workers want to follow up the prime examples of Marcos, so everything runs smoothly and meets the standards of perfection. The Filming Crew The filming crew of Chronicle Films, a mixture of blue-colored and white-colored workers, initiate the camera operations and the editing in the scenes for the show. The episode set list. In episode one of Chronicle Films, Anthony Zortos must find a way to confront Gordon on his recent behavior, which involves making decisions and bringing up ideas for the upcoming film to the directors without asking from Zortos himself. After proper analysis, Zortos finds that the best way to approach Smith is to make a deal and allow him to write the script for the film. However, he is never to act in such a way again, otherwise Smith will be fired. Procedural Justice Approach In this approach, Zortos laid out the plan and his views to Smith, making sure that Smith was fully aware of his decisions. If Smith was not to consent or comply with this decision-making, then he would have to leave an understanding. Consultation Influence Tactic With this concept, Zortos consulted with Smith, allowing him to create the ideas and storylines for the next film. Both were aware of whether the other stood and have an understanding of how things are going to pan out. Episode 2. Both directors, Christina and Marcos, and the film and crew had flown to Chicago for shooting two scenes, but the schedule was delayed because of the snow, and some of the crews demanded extra pays for the waiting days, while others rather headed back home in Hollywood. The directors took their duties and skills to solve the problem. Tactical Planning. The directors had established a short-term plan for the two scenes after getting permits from the city and flies schedules for the crew. Controlling. Both directors used their authorities to stop the uproar of the crews and gather them into meetings. Managerial skills. Both directors used their interpersonal skills to persuade the crews and calm them down by suggesting pays for waiting days. Mr. Zortos, as the top management, analyzes the pros and cons, making final decisions to pay them. Episode 3. In Episode 3 of Chronicle Films, Anthony Zorthos works together with Christina Williams and Marcos Rivera to establish the budget for the new scenes. Given the estimated expenses for new technology, Zorthos has to find a way to lower the expense amount to remain under budget. He is able to do this with the help of other production studios that offer free equipment and by doing most of the scenes in the studio. Budget. In this concept, the team establishes an expense budget that is first proposed and then approved by an authoritative staff. Goal setting. The team creates a goal to remain under a specific budget for the film. When challenges arise and new technology equipment is added, the team works together to lower the budget, getting approved in the end. Episode 4. In this episode, 
Mr. Zortos gave the tasks to Christina and Marcos to analyze the equipment and report back to him. But Marcos was stereotyping about his skills in graphic and went ahead of Christina to submit the report to Mr. Zortos. And Mr. Zortos, while receiving all the reports, he decided to stick on the company's top priority to approve the budget to purchase some of the other machine and software for editing the graph. Fix. Moreover, he allowed only a few scenes to take outside of the studio. In these concepts, we have quality, statistical process control, stereotyping, and managerial ethics. For quality, the company's top priority is to focus on quality, which is the dependability of the graphic machines and software to create the fabulous pictures to amaze the audience. With statistical process control, Marcos and his group had run a multiple tests on each equipment and collected the data of the capabilities of the machines. Stereotyping. Marcos thought that no one knew more about him, about the technical skills, so he went ahead to Mr. Zortos without notifying Christina. And in managerial ethics, in this concept, Marcos forgot that the managerial ethics, which is to strengthen the relationship with coworkers and avoid stereotyping.